What's up, y'all? Hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. And hey, Merry Christmas. I'm just kidding. We're, we're a couple months after that. But hey, just in case you still have your Christmas decorations up, just so you know, don't feel bad. You're right on par because you know what? We're going to jump into the Christmas story today. And so um, we're going to pretend a little bit. And I know maybe some of you up north, Sorry, you probably still have some snow on the ground, and it may still feel like Christmas. It never feels like Christmas down here in Florida where I'm at, but that's just reality of life. So anyway, we're going to jump into Luke 1, verse 26 through 33 today, where Luke writes, In the sixth month of the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph. Betrothed. It's one step past engagement, right? So back in that tradition, you get engaged, betrothed is that season between the engagement and the wedding just so you know but it's pretty serious it's not just a you can walk away it's you're essentially married without the ceremony yet but anyway um and the virgin's name was mary and he came to her and said greetings O favored one the lord is with you but she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be and the angel said to her don't be afraid mary for you have found favor with god and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son. You shall call his name Jesus. He's going to be great, the son of the most high. The Lord will give him the throne of his father David. He will reign over the house of Jacob. And in his kingdom, there will be no end. And in his kingdom, there will be no end. Hang on to that. We're going to get there in a minute. But, um, you know, obviously there's a lot happening here. You got Mary. She's a teenager, teenage gal. She's betrothed to be married. Her whole life's in front of her. And all of a sudden, an angel, Gabriel's like, hey, girl, you're prego with the Son of God. Hello. Like, that's a big upset, right? Like, that's a big, sharp right-hand turn that you're not expecting. We all have things that happen in our lives that we can't account for and are unexpected. But this is like, I don't think it gets more than this. But I love, um, there's a couple things that we can really pull from what Gabriel said to Mary. There's three things that really stood out. Number one, that she was favored. Gabriel said, you have found favor with God. Found favor, favor. I, there's something about that term favor and how favored in Christ we are favored. You know, I think sometimes we like to imagine God just kind of puts up with us, right? Like, okay, get your act together. Maybe get it right today and you get a trophy. Well, you sinned today, so no, you just have to try again better tomorrow. Like sometimes I think like God's like this, we, we can have this viewpoint like God just kind of puts up with us when in actuality, God's favor rests on our lives through Jesus. You know, he goes in and says, the Lord is with her. The Lord is with her that, gosh, I can't tell you how many times in my life I forget that God is with me. So often I get into a situation, I'm in over my head or I don't know what's going to happen next. Emergencies come, whatever. And I lose sight so quick that God is with me and I forget that. And, and so here, you know, Gabriel's telling Mary, God's with you, girl. God's got your back. And then lastly, he calls her blessed. He calls her blessed. He calls her blessed, you know. Um, the first thing God did when he created Adam and Eve is God blessed them. Genesis 1, 26 or 28, I can't remember. But anyway, the first thing God did is he blessed them. God is a God who blesses. You are blessed. Like we don't need to pray for God's blessing because God's blessing rests on our lives. That in Jesus, we're blessed. Just like right here. And so Mary has no idea what's in front of her. And obviously we have the whole story and we can look at the cross and how she was at, at her son's feet while he was crucified. That's a hard picture, right? Moms out there, any moms in the under the sound of my voice, you know, imagine that that was your baby boy on a cross. Like, and this is where the journey begins, that Gabriel knows what's coming. And, and here he is telling her, you're favored, Lord is with you, you're blessed. Um, but as he, as he kind of goes down and he breaks down, you know, he's going to be great. Um, he's going to have the throne of his father, like his father David, like he's, he's, he's essentially telling Mary, this is the promised Messiah. This is the one to come. You see, Mary and Joseph were were quite devout in their Jewish beliefs, right? They they traveled to the temple. They did what they were supposed to do. They abided by the law. They knew there was a Messiah coming. They knew it. They knew the Old Testament. They knew the things that were prophesied hundreds of years before them. And for an angel to show up and be like, girl, you're the one, that's crazy, right? That is just, 
I can't imagine what that would be like. And for a teenage girl, teenage girl, but one thing I just want to leave you with, I want to leave you with of that last sentence. It says, his kingdom will have no end. His kingdom will have no end. You know, it's not enough that we need to be reminded that in Christ we're favored, that in Christ the Lord is with us, that in Christ we're blessed, that his kingdom will not end. And I think there's a lot of us that can take that to heart, especially in this season. There's a lot of people freaking out um, for no reason, because you know what? God wins. God's kingdom isn't losing. God's not losing a war. You know, we can look at our country and all the things going on. At the end of the day, God's kingdom has no end. God wins all the time. Even right here in this story, as scary as it was for Mary, as crazy as it was, God wins. And so I don't know where you need to be reminded of that in your life today, that you're favored, that God is with you, that you're blessed. But most of all, God wins. His kingdom doesn't end. Anyway, y'all, thanks for spending a few minutes as we jump into Luke 1. Hey, pray for Chuck. He is out in the Grand Canyon of all places, hiking with his daughter. I'm sure he's going to have an amazing Wednesday wisdom for us or some pictures. Um, it's going to be a cool adventure. So pray for him. Pray for his safety. Pray for um, just great revelation from the Lord out there. And uh, hey, we'll look forward to seeing you back next week.